In this module, we learn about some of the additional support resources that are provided to assist you in delivering the program with your class. So at the end of the um, resource, there are a number of guided hands-on activities that support the program in different ways. Now in module five, uh, the students are doing open-ended inquiry, but they haven't actually done any guided inquiries. So you may wish to include some of these activities throughout the program, or you could use them at the beginning or the end. It's really up to you. There's a table showing suggestions of where the activities could be included. Um, and you can see that, for example, um, that there's a we use water activity that gets students to just um, measure and think about the numbers of times every day that they use water and that could fit into their daily routine or it could um, fit into module three where they're looking at objects that use water. I won't go through all of them but um, the different activities are designed to augment what they're do doing um, throughout the program and it really depends on how much time you have. You may also be guided by the fact that you're doing a particular theme for a term and these objects might um, help you with that. So they're just there as guided activities for students to do. There's a number of sort of generic worksheets. Uh, this one, Working sa Safely, encourages students to think about potential hazards before they do any activity. It's a sort of a simple risk assessment. So hazards are the things they should look out for. Um, ideas for preventing accidents and something that you can learn about working safely. So even the most um, uh, simple things such as uh, a, a, some spilt water on the floor could be a hazard but it's only a hazard unless it's, uh, if it's not managed properly. So if you spill some water, students could then be encouraged to think about what could that, what sort of accident could that cause and how could that be managed so that it's not a hazard anymore. So the simple, get, get, getting students to use this risk, risk assessment and think carefully about um, hazards and hazard prevention is really good um, science practice to get into. The next one, is a two stars and a wish sheet. And this is uh, particularly good for when they're doing their own investigations and when they're doing, designing their own investigations. Um, and that's basically just writing down two things that worked and then a third thing, a wish, where they, something they wish they'd done better. So again, a diff, you know, getting them to do their own self-assessment, peer assessment, and it can also be used for the teacher to give feedback to the students if you wish. The next one relates particularly to uh, module five when students are planning their own investigation. There's a two page investigation planner sheet and uh, there's also a, a blank results graph. Uh, that students can colour in. So it gets them to start thinking about graphing their results. The next slide uh, is um, just talking a little bit about fair testing. Um, when students are designing their own investigations, they need to change one thing at a time to see that that takes an effect. So it's getting them to think about what they'll change what they'll keep the same and what they're actually going to measure. So for example, if they're doing the air races and they decide to change the rubber bands on the air racer, then they'll need to keep other things the same, like the number of turns that they do when they're stretching the rubber band and the surface on which they're using their rubber band racer. And then they decide to measure the distance. The idea of only changing one variable at a time is sometimes quite difficult for students to get, but um, you'll see the photograph of the whiteboard with the post-it notes. What you could do is get students to brainstorm all the things they could change and put them up onto the whiteboard like that. And then when they decide to do an experiment, 
and they're going to just see if one thing affects their experiment. You take that post-it note away and say everything else on there has to stay the same. And then if they decide to change what they're going to test, you have to put the original uh, post-it note back on to the uh, paper and then take off the next one that they're going to change. So it gives them an idea to work out how to do a fair test. If you have any questions at all about this module, um, please don't hesitate to contact me um, at the address listed on the screen. And alternatively, you can link to the resources um, directly onto the website at that website address, and that will take you to all of the module um, program materials as well as all of the training videos.